Hi guys, welcome to the Art of Server. So, in one of my previous videos where I'm showing you guys how to troubleshoot your LSI IT Mode HBA card, I said this. Okay, so there it prompted me uh, with the control C and you can see now it says, please wait invoking SAS configuration utility. Okay, so this is the LSI uh, SAS configuration utility that is in the BIOS ROM. However, I've had several people contact me saying that they can't get into the LSI BIOS ROM program like I just showed in that other video. So here I am booting up one of my machines with a LSI um, IT mode HBA card and I'm gonna press the control C when I'm prompted right here okay so and then it says please wait invoking SAS configuration utility now normally you would expect that once the post process is complete that the SAS configuration utility would then load and you would see the screen that you saw earlier however it doesn't always work and I'm going to show you why that is and how you can work around that all right so as you can see the SAS configuration utility from the LSI BIOS ROM did not load and it immediately went to uh, performing the boot sequence and it's looking for something to boot off of uh, but in this state there's nothing on the system that is bootable and so you can see that it says no boot device found and so this is one of the situations where the LSI ROM, uh, SAS configuration utility is not loading correctly so what I'm going to do here is press F2 to get into the system setup All right, so here I am in the system BIOS. Let's go ahead and go into the settings here and look at boot settings. Okay, so the reason why the uh, LSI BIOS ROM SAS configuration utility did not load after I press control C is because this system is currently configured to boot in UEFI mode. And under UEFI mode, the BIOS ROM program isn't able to load. And so if you press control C like I did, it's simply going to skip that and move on. In order for that LSI SAS configuration utility to load properly during the uh, post sequence, you need to change this to uh, the legacy BIOS mode. Now, you might say, well, I prefer to have uh, my operating system uh, booting in UEFI mode. And in that case, um, you would not be able to use that control C sequence to get to the LSI um, BIOS ROM program. However, if you go back here, and let me just kind of exit this, if you go under device settings, if the card, if the LSI card also has the UEFI ROM, th that card will also show up here under device settings. And you can click on this to basically run that UEFI ROM on the card. And here I'm gonna select that particular controller. And you can see that I have an option to do controller management. And I can view controller properties, which really doesn't tell me a whole lot other than the version and the PCI address and stuff like that. Um, but I also have an option to change controller properties. And here I can turn on the, uh, I guess the, the, the boot option for the system. Now, if I had some drives attached here, I believe you can also select which drive you want to boot off of. And so those uh, particular configuration settings are available through this interface instead of the uh, Control C uh, LSI uh, BIOS ROM program. However, I find that the LSI BIOS ROM program has additional settings that you can change that are not available in this interface. And so, if you really want to access that, uh, the only way to do that in a pre-boot environment is to turn on the BIOS uh, boot mode again. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that. I'll go back and exit out of all this. All right, so I'm gonna go back into system BIOS under boot settings. I'm gonna change this to BIOS boot mode. All right, so I'll go ahead and go exit out of this and make sure to save that setting. 
Okay, so setting is saved, and then we'll finish out of here, and this is going to then reboot the system. So now we're booting the system in BIOS mode, and we're going to repeat that key sequence once I'm prompted here for control C. And there it is, and I'm pressing control C. And momentarily, once this uh, post sequence is complete, you will see that the SAS configuration utility uh, does load properly as expected. All right, so there we have it, guys. As expected, the SAS configuration utility now is loading properly and is not being skipped over. So if you have problems trying to get into this uh, screen or this program with control C, make sure that your system is booting in legacy BIOS mode and not in UEFI mode. Now, if you insist on booting in UEFI mode, just be aware that you can access some of the features that are available in this program through your UEFI menu system, uh, as long as the UEFI ROM is also loaded on the card. However, if you have the choice to boot in either mode, at least from the perspective of the LSI controller, I find that the BIOS ROM program, the this one you're seeing on the screen right now, is much more flexible and capable. So for example, if I press uh, control, or let me enter the controller. So I can enable disable boot support, and this we saw earlier in the UEFI interface as well, but I can also see the SAS topology. I have nothing connected here, so you don't see anything. Um, but I'm also able to go to advanced adapter properties and I can change some timing settings and stuff like that. These settings are not available in the UEFI interface. They're only available through this uh, BIOS ROM interface. Now, these settings can also be changed uh, from within the operating system by using some uh, LSI tools to adjust the configuration settings in this adapter. But usually this is the easiest way to get to it. And so, you know, if you feel that being able to do this is valuable enough to you, then I would recommend choosing to boot your system in BIOS mode instead of UEFI mode. All right, guys, so hopefully this helps anybody who is having the problem of not being able to get into the LSI SAS configuration utility. Make sure to check your boot mode setting. Make sure that it is in legacy BIOS mode in order for this program to launch correctly. All right, that's it for today's video. Hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please be sure to hit the like button for me. And if you're new to this channel and you like this sort of stuff, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support my channel, I have an eBay store with all sorts of server goodies. I'll leave a link down in the video description below, so please go check that out. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.